Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, January 11th. This week, you start off with the Six of Clubs. Six of Clubs is all about uh, growth happening in your life. It's a card of success. E even traditionally, traditional readers would just read this card as success. That's all they would say about it. And then they'd put it down and move on to the next card. It's just a successful card. But it's a little bit more than that. It's, it's To me, it's all about growth and growing. A lot of you could see some things that you've been trying to do growing. Like a lot of you maybe could be hearing back about jobs if you've been applying to jobs or hearing back about relationships even. Like, you know, if you've been trying to meet somebody, maybe you could do that this week with this card. Uh, it, or, you know, anything along those lines. You could be hearing back from something. Um, it does feel like something coming back, which is interesting because we are in a retrograde, so that would actually make a lot of sense, I guess. Um, so a lot of you could be having that type of energy this week, which is exciting. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. A very stable card, a card of stability. It brings in financial stability to you even. Makes your finances a little bit more stable, maybe not so up and down this week, and uh, can even bring more money to you. For those of you that don't have a job, this is a card of opportunity. So it says there's like a bunch of jobs out there for you. So now you just have to step out there and you have to go get them because while it's a card of opportunity, it's also a card of action. So tens require you to work to get the things that you want. So, you, you know, if you want a job this week, definitely get out there, pound the pavement, try to fight it as much as you possibly can because you will be rewarded with a bunch of opportunities. It's like if you work hard and you try to get that job, you'll have the uh, you'll be able to pick from like a bunch of really great choices. So it's very exciting. For those of you that have a job, this card is a card of potentially getting raises or just more money or uh, even uh, being promoted to new positions and things like that. Like I said, it's a card of long-term stability. It makes your life feel more stable. So that's why I really like that card. Next, you have the Seven of Spades. Internal fears, uh, plain and simple. Any fears you have around money or anything in your life, they're all internal. They no longer serve you, and they're just not realistic anymore. Like I said, this is internal fears. They don't exist in the real world. So stop having those fears and stop worrying and stop allowing those fears to hold you back. And you have a card here at the end that we're going to talk about that really speaks to that as well. Next, you have the King of Clubs. King of Clubs is about a, a lot about planning. I think a lot of you are going to be planning things for the future this week even, uh, planning, looking into the future and, and seeing how you could make some things happen. The King of Clubs is also very resourceful. He uses his resources that he has and, and things that he's learned. He's, he's actually probably the most knowledgeable king in the deck. So a lot of you could just really benefit from your just raw knowledge this week and that could be what helps you out a lot this week with this card. And finally, you have the Nine of Spades. Nine of Spades says there are possibly some things that are holding you back, like some beliefs or uh, even some current positions like jobs that are holding you back. And this card, Nine of Spades, is asks you to open up and let go of, of things that you no longer need. So if you're stuck in a low-paying job and you want a higher-paying job, remember what I said, that Ten of Diamonds, go out there and try to get another job. Sometimes when a nine comes in, we can get comfortable in situations and we're not stretching enough, we're not pushing ourselves enough. So this card really asks you to let go of those things, get something new so that you can really move forward. Nines, no matter what nine it is, nines want you to be moving forward. They want you to they want to push you. So definitely get out there and, and try to let go of some of those old beliefs. But all in all it looks like a great week, especially with that ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds can just make you feel good and, and like things are just even. So that's great to see. But thank you for watching and enjoy.